Watson, Andre. Entering this lineup, the goofy foot from Brazil had a huge result here last season. Was able to make the final and finished runner-up to John John Florence. It was a huge effort for Jaddy. You know, Brett's had uh, pretty much his uh, best results in bigger, gnarlier conditions. You know, and you'd think that, uh, there he goes there, just a quick little in and out from him. It's been very consistent, but uh, those wins have been eluding him. As we look at Kelly getting spit out of a little racetrack right into a roundhouse wrap. Nice little tail slide. He'll lay back and he looks to recover. He'll go down on the final move. Okay. That rang his bell. Looks like he's fine, Potts. Look at this one. <laughs> yeah, beautiful barrel right there. You know, and it's conditions like this that really get Kelly going. You know, it's, uh, he's always constantly looking for that motivation. That's something that's going to, you know, give him that spark. And, um, you know, I think Kelly just needs to get that ball rolling. Once he does, it's on. Now Jadson Andre on a solid left that's running down the beach. A big drop on the takeoff, and Jadson Andre doesn't reappear on the other end which makes it fun to get this thing started. Beautiful offshore conditions. Looks like Brett now packing it nice and deep. Stays wide open for Simpo to come out clean. Full wrap on the inside corner. Off the top float, and Brett hangs on. Two quick waves for Simpo to put him out to an early lead. You know, and it looks like the jet skis are gonna be in effect today. The guys are gonna be coming into that inside section as one of the best surfers on the top 34 as we take a look at this last wave. Yeah, nice positioning there. You can see further up the board as well. You know, you've got to get your feet. You can't really, on these late drops, you know, you don't want your feet right back on that tail pad. Threaded with onshore conditions. As we see more waves underway, Jadson Andre stalling on his backhand. Quick little cover up now. He's into turns on the inside corner. Snaps it off the lip. He'll be hung up and end up being a little bit incomplete on that final turn. As we look at numbers now, Brett Simpson an 8.17 on the second effort. Kelly down to second with just his single score of a 7.17. Andre, ones and threes to start. Brett looking to hang on to a crucial moment here with the lead, but now Kelly looking to slow down. He'll pull in a tricky little tube option, and it's gonna bottom out and take out Slater right on that inside section. Now Jadson, up and out. No one's sitting on anyone. They've got a huge lineup to work with. Jadson likes the left that he's found. Driving through a hollow section. He'll straighten out to earn the finish. Jadson ditching a 1.33 without effort. Trying to find a couple of scores. See him stalling on the takeoff. Now he drives through that section. Why? Because that thing closed out, so he needed to get out. 14.25 to go. Brett still has his lead out front. Andre getting a 3.77 on his last days in third. Still chasing down a 7.91 to get a move on towards the back end of this heat. Kind of learn how to deal with it. And I think he's doing that. Now having a look. Brett Simpson loving the barrels out front. Full wrap once again. A beautiful roundhouse cutback into the inside. Blitz is the finish but then falls right on the end section. Takes off late, pulls straight in. This is gonna be another gray score for Brett Simpson. He's gonna definitely turn the heat up on Kelly. Big, beautiful wraparound cut back there, and then just didn't quite finish that last turn off, so. He would be showing up for the European leg this season. Looks like he's found something solid. This is Jadson Andre. Forehand option. He'll pop out the other end, deep off the bottom, and hammers it. So Jadson Andre sticking to his game plan on these hollow lefts. He's had a couple of threes and a much better opportunity on this last effort, Potts. Well experienced water patrol. Kelly up and riding. Kelly now just setting up a little section on the inside. He'll slow down. Pulls in. Nice line for a moment trying to recover from that whitewater hitting him in the head. He'll end up going down. I think he's, I think he's on the wrong ones at the moment. Jadson beautifully drives through that section there. Nice long barrel, but this is what I like. Finishes off nicely on his feet. That's what you've got to do. For that, that footprint we talk about. As we look down the beach, a hollow section for Kelly to punch out of. Now looking to go to turns. And he'll end up hopping out of there. So a deep section for Kelly to answer back quickly. And so they're just figuring out their line of spots. Here's Kelly. Big hollow section 
for the 11-time world champ. Looking oh. for an exit. He'll end up going down. Wow. That could have been a huge score right there for Kelly. Let's have a look at it again and see what happened here. Took off there. Just had to stall and just unloads on the bank there. Double section. Thought he was coming out of that, but it just kind of ran away. So Kelly biting off a little bit more than he could chew on that occasion. But Slater's last score of 5.83 holds him in second. Brett still has his lead up the day today. Right now we're looking at Kelly trying to turn this one around. Pulls in. Great positioning. Looks like it's going to stay open just enough for the finish. Kelly sneaking out of the end section to provide a heroic moment to try to steal the win off Brett Simpson. We're down to a minute 30. Potts was that enough. Take off and it's all about the gas. See Kelly hitting the brakes right there. Driving through. Just got clipped on the way out. So he's going to be close. I mean, it's going to be a good score, but is it going to be a 7-6-8 that is required? I'm not sure. Now numbers dropping for Kelly. It comes in at a 7.67. That brings a tie-break situation for the lead, and Brett breaks it on the single high score of an 8.17, and barely <laughs> hangs on to his total out front to move on to round three. Wow.